I think I've always appreciated surfing just because not only is it highly challenging, but there's a peacefulness and a connectiveness that comes, I think, with just being on the water. I surfed with Drew many years ago. I knew he was sort of at the early stages of surfing, you know, kind of beginner level. We texted a couple times over the years, so I was really looking forward to this day and kind of meeting again and seeing where he's at. From jumping on a private plane down in San Diego, and then you drop down and you're just seeing farmland, and all of a sudden, out of the farmland and the cows and everything else that's around us pops this 700 meter long magical wave. And you're sitting here going, I'm about to surf this. Where'd you guys roll in from? All right, buddy. What's up, man? What's going How are you? Long time. Yeah, I know right. it has been. How much are you surfing these days? Uh, not, a, not a ton. The surf range is unlike anything that I've ever seen or has ever been created. Is this what you envisioned the first time you saw this property? Or has it just completely blown your mind? No, it blown my mind because the first time I came to the property, I didn't realize the scale of how big we were going to make this thing. We can adjust for, you know, the barrel type, size, length. Three buttons pretty much to control one wave. So have you become a fluid dynamics expert here over the last couple I've years? I've learned a lot of stuff, <laughs> yeah. You know, right. my scientists go, oh, no, that's called this, you know? I'm like, no, that's a wind swell. He's like, no, that's a Kelvin subcritical wake. Real technical, yeah. uh, real technical it's a Kelvin term. subcritical wake. And I'm like, that's a wind swell. All right, we're, we're talking science. <laughs> OK, and we're going to go. as somebody's trying to help someone out. That challenge for me is just to see if I can get them from where they're at to somewhere definitely a couple levels ahead of where they're at. What we did was we started Drew on a really big board, a stand-up paddle board. Got him on the smallest wave we run. Just thought this might be the easiest way to start. He fell on eight or 10 waves back to back to back. It's the equivalent of on the football field, you just take hit after hit after hit and you're just getting absolutely thrashed, right? You get rolled a couple of those times out there and then you realize, all right, I better make some adjustments here. He was having a little bit of trouble with that board and I said, okay, so let's get you on something smaller that you can maneuver really quickly. I had that big old Cadillac before. This is more of the, uh, it's more of the Ferrari. Maybe not the Ferrari, but it's definitely a sports car. It was great to see his athletic mind go to work. You could tell like there's something clicking for him. You just have to continue to bounce back and know that that defining one is coming. That light bulb moment is coming. The minute that you see your first wave, it's like, it's heaven. It is, it is heavenly. All the way. I would say that we went from very beginner level with Drew, maybe up to like six months of learning within one day. When you're talking about such an incredible athlete like Kelly Slater, it's him standing on the board is just like any of us standing on land. Let me get my board. I'll try and pull in the tube with one. For me to be able to throw it to him and have him catch it, you know, it's like the best slot receiver you ever had. <laughs> Camera guy said to me, how many times do you think this will take? I said, one. This will be easy. And uh, we nailed it. It was great. The surf ranch here, it's just beyond your wildest expectations. I think surfing is a thing that people love all over the world, all different walks of life. There's some common bond it creates amongst people. Hey, this awesome. is awesome, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. I left today feeling like a totally different person. I was able to do things out there that I've never even dreamt of doing before. I had some great teachers out there, but uh, this was just uh, really an incredible experience. Mm -hmm.